All right, guys. Here's a, a YouTube video to help you Mustang guys out there. We all help each other and uh, try to help the Mustang community and whoever is into uh, cars for a hobby. But anyways, look. My son decided to take off his decal off his uh, Mach 1. And uh, obviously it was starting to crack because of the age and stuff. So we decided to take it off. Unfortunately, there's a lot of the glue there. So um, you can sit there and try to scratch it off with your fingernail. But that's going to take forever. And I guess what we figured out is like, hey, uh, we could have ordered a magic eraser or something through Amazon. But I figured, you know what, let me use a piece of rubber hose. There we go. A regular little 3 8 hose for gasoline, whatever you want to call it. Any kind of little rubber hose. What you want to do is, and these hoses that come with a little coating on top. So what I decided to do was I decided to go in and scrape all that coating off. And the way I did that was I got myself a wheel, okay? Got myself a little um, um, brush wheel here. Hooked it up to my cordless gun, all right? Tighten that up real quick. Got this bad boy here. And uh, took all that shiny stuff that comes on the hose. You're doing that till you see it all dull. Keep being up, you know, all down and out real good, right? Of course, you want to make sure there's no um, stainless steel bristles or anything stuck on there because you're obviously going to be running this on your paint on your car. But here we go. You see that? See how it's nice and dull there? And you feel like you're down to the rubber? I think that'll be sufficient enough. Now, once you're done with that, get a little bit of gasoline that we used our little Gatorade bottle for, you know. Put some on his rag. Get a little bit wet. Okay. And uh, clean it. Here we go. Clean this bad boy. Make sure you got any grits. Make sure there's nothing stuck on her because obviously you're going to be rubbing this on your paint. Looks pretty good, I think. All right. Dry this bad boy up. Okay. So, the other thing we're going to need is a heat gun. In fact, the glue. So, here we go. We already started working this section. As you can see, it's already been coming off. Obviously, there's some flaws in the paint because of so many years. But this is a 2003 Mach 1. And throughout the years, well, unfortunately, UV rays get to deteriorate things. But uh, let's show you guys an example. Going to film my right there. And that's up. Instead of you guys. Here we go, guys. Instead of you uh, buying a, a $30 uh, eraser wheel, let's get yourself a little hose. I mean... Pretty sure it's gonna be hard for you to get the eraser wheel, but if you're trying to hurry and get things done instead of waiting online. I mean, so let's go back to this. So what do we do? Get the heat gun, heat this up a little bit, just enough to kind of soften it up a little bit, go over it, get about 10 seconds or so, get that, hit it. Keep in mind that this is rubber, so it's not gonna create any scratches in your paint. You do this right, here you go, get your little rag, bust it off. Here's that glue, you see that? Of course you sit there and try to do it with your nail, but boy, you, you do can, that forever. You can scratch you it. You scratch the paint, mm -hmm. create some issues. So here we go again, here's another demo guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. There we go, let's hit it again. Here we go. Now of course it might not be as fast as that uh, racer wheel, but we don't have that. We have to improvise. And if we can improvise, we can make things happen pretty quick, you know? Problem with nowadays. Generation. Everybody's gotta depend on something. We gotta figure things out, you know? That's why we're here to help each other out. And whatever you get stuck on. It's pretty nice to just go on YouTube, save yourself some money. That's a $30. $30, $35 wheel or so, you know, 40 bucks. In this case, 10 cents. If that. You know, here we go. See it working. Dust it off a little bit and go over again. See it? Of course, after you get this done, what's going to happen? Well, so you're going to go ahead and get yourself some nice little rubbing compound and buff the sucker up and get it looking good. Other thing you want to keep looking for, make sure that the hose doesn't get stuck with that um, the glue on there. If it does, wipe it again with a little bit of gasoline. Keep it clean, guys. But here, there's a little section here. You can kind of see where it's sticking up, a little residue. So we'll do it again. There we go. 
There we go. See, she's working, taking that glue off pretty good. There we go. You see that? Left it off. Okay. See now. One more time. There it goes. Almost there. See that little doll section? It's actually just kind of smears. But uh, we'll come back and finish that up. I'll just kind of simplify things here for you guys. Do a little section. All right. Mm. Come right up. Come right up. A little stroke side to side right there. Gosh. Heat that little bad boy a little bit. There we go. I figured I can heat it up. It kind of softens it up a little bit better. You know, adhesive and heat don't really mix. But there we go. See, we got a little bit right here. See a little piece right there. We're going to get that bad boy right now. Okay. You know, this part of the heat helps it. You rub it in there. There we go. So now we piece again. It's time for me to clean this little rubber hose. Let me show you a little demo. And pause that for a little bit. There we go. So what do we do? I'll clean this thing up again. Now well, keep in mind, this is an old car, so paint's not perfect. But overall, if you might have a new car, you might want to try this in a different way. It all depends. Here we go. Now I just clean this again. And don't get. No. All right. No. Obviously, there's probably some clear here that's been affected throughout the years of that sticker being on there. But if you want to get this stuff off. There's one good way for you to do it. A little bit of elbow grease, but some parts would be a lot easier than others. But as you can see, we'll move them right along. There we go. And that's the final little piece we're getting through here. See, just rubbing that bad boy right on right there. Uh, you can see this hood really needs another paint job. The clear's kind of been deteriorating, but hope this helps you guys out. Again, as you can see this, just trying to help you guys out, save you guys some money. And uh, we're almost there. We'll show you the final finishing product once we give it a little bit of rolling compound. Buff the little section out. Get it all looking good. A couple little coats of wax. And uh, for the money, well, get yourself a couple of beers. Sit back. A day like this. Put some good tunes. And go with the beat. <laughs> Alright guys. Take care. Good luck. And uh... Get you guys up soon.